Hi everybody, we're going to make tempura zucchini or if you live in the UK or France we're going to make tempura courgettes. I understand zucchini is taken from the Italian word and courgettes taken from the French word. Here I'm making a tempura butter and the key to tempura is to make it as close as possible to when you're cooking the dish. So I've got four and a half ounces of corn flour or cornstarch. That goes in the bowl. Okay. I've also got four and a half ounces of regular all-purpose flour. I'm going to put literally a good generous shake of salt in. And now I'm going to put in, I'm not sure if you can see this. Can we see this? Can we see the glass of half a pint or 10 fluid ounces a fizzy water. So now I want to mix this up and I understand with, with tempura all the Japanese cookbooks tell us not to worry too much about getting the lumps out. So I'm just going to briefly mix that. That's the batter and now I'm going to test the temperature of the oil so I've got a slice of zucchini here. As far as the thickness is concerned, I'm looking at about a quarter of an inch. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it matters if it's thinner than that. Okay, so there's the tempura. Okay, pop it in there. And let's see what happens nice and close. Nice close up of that oil. And yes, of course, you can use a temperature gauge for the oil. I'm pretty sure we need this about 200 to 220 degrees centigrade. But the great thing about this dish is you can just test the oil with the batter to see how it cooks. If you look closely, we've got a little bit of color on our zucchini fritter. That tells me that the oil is probably ready in order for us to cook quite a few at the same time. Okay, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to cook a few more now at the same time. I want to get these in quite quickly. So that's what we want. We want this. We want these beautiful courgette fritters to be really crisp and you can see the batter Nice and close up if possible, please. My camera person. It's not cameraman, it's camera person. So let's get these in. You have to be reasonably quick here. And I understand from my research, the key is not to put too many at a time. So I'm gonna stop now. And as you can see this fantastic tempura batter, is bubbling away. The first one told us the oil wasn't quite hot enough. But as you can see, we've got that lovely, see the lovely bubbly, the bubbliness of the tempura there, see? That's really coming on beautifully. And the great thing is, if the courgette zucchini is thin, we're going to get some colour on it a bit quicker than the thick pieces. And they're looking really, really good. So we're going to fish them out shortly and pop them on a plate with some kitchen roll. I want to make sure they've got a little bit more colour on first though. That's why I've changed my utensil. starting to look absolutely fantastic. Of course, the key is how crunchy will they be? We want to get these really... Let's take a few out, shall we? Now if you can quite see those there, they look fabulous. Let's put them on my plate next door. Take a few out and we'll get some more in. And while, the, while these are draining, we can cook a few more. I 
absolutely wonderful. Whoever invented the concept of deep frying, I know a lot of people don't improve because it's not very healthy, but it's such a treat. And tempura vegetables and tempura fish, absolutely fantastic. I think it's difficult not to like something that's crispy and it's been fried in batter. Move this second lot round. A little bit more. And as you can see, if we can get really close in, you can see how lovely and bubbly and blistery that lovely blister of the tempura batter is. All those wonderful curly bits on the end represent beautifully crunchy batter. Okay, time to fish this lot out. We can just move those other ones to one side. Looking absolutely fabulous. Okay, so we've presented them and I'm hoping we can zoom in now because I need you to see how crispy. Can we get can we get right in? And these are so I've still got a bit of the flour on my fingers, please forgive me. So I'm, what I'm gonna do, dip it in there, and I'm hoping you can hear the crunch. I have no words at all to tell you how amazing that zucchini slice dipped in a crispy tempura butter is. Tempura zucchini or tempura courgette. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope to see you all very soon. I really need to get stuck into the rest of these. What a pleasure.